Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. So today I'm recording my very first empties video, my products I've used up. I've remembered these videos circulating a lot years ago on YouTube, like back when people were called beauty gurus instead of beauty influencers. And I never saved my empty bottles. Like it never occurred to me to do so and then record a video about them. But I have been saving stuff and like accumulating a little pile for myself because I had this idea in mind in the back of my head to record. So I thought, why not? Let's give this a go. I'd categorize everything out to skincare, beauty slash makeup, and then some random. And I actually did watch a few videos before I sat down to record this one to see what other girls kind of showed in their empties videos. And there's literally everything from like a huge, huge pile of skincare items to to makeup items to like laundry detergent, hand sanitizer and hand soap. So I have a little bit of each, nothing crazy. It is not a big pile, but I thought why not record this for you guys today. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, the notification bell and the thumbs up button so I know to film more future content like it. Without further ado, let's get on into the video. So I'm gonna start with skincare. Starting with my face wash, you guys are probably so sick of me talking about this product. I mean, I feel like I should just be sponsored by this point because this is literally the only face wash I've been using since high school. So for some time now, and it's the Simple Moisturizing Facial Wash. I've gone through so many bottles of this that I've actually seen the involvement of the package changing. So this little lid didn't used to be like a matte green. It used to be more of like a slippery consistency, kind of like how the white of the packaging is. So it's a little bit harder to open. Okay, well, it's not opening. So sometimes I have to use a towel to pop it open um, so I don't wreck my nails. But this is the face wash I use before I go to bed at night. I don't always wash my face in the morning unless I absolutely feel like I need to. My skin is already pretty good. I don't wanna jinx it. So I'm not washing my face multiple times a day, but this has never given me any issues. It's actually half empty, so it's technically not a full, full empty, but I go through these at a decent rate. You can purchase it at the drugstore and you only need like a little dollop amount on your hands in between your fingers to lather up to get it on your face. And that's it. There's no really harsh perfume or chemicals or coloring to this product. I find it very natural on my skin and it's obviously affordable because it can be purchased at the drugstore. And this is also good to note that one of the claims that has right on the front of the bottle is it says it's for all skin types. So whether you're dry skin, normal skin, combo skin, it's good for you all. My next product is a face cream. Now you're gonna be able to tell in my future videos just down the road that I really stick to just a couple products when it comes to skincare. You won't see me doing skincare routines often on my channel or updated skin routines or using different oils and serums and toners. Um, I just don't really find that I need to be using all of that at this point in my life, or I guess at this stage of my life. So I have very basic items. So I'm just prefacing that for this product because it's just such a basic face cream. And this is the Olay Moisturizing Cream. It comes in this little pot with a little blue label on the front. And as you can see there, there is not a ton left. I'm really just scraping at the bottoms now to get the remains of the product. Um, this doesn't have SPF, so obviously I wouldn't wear this throughout the day if I'm going out, but this is a really good hydrating moisturizer for nighttime. And it's also, again, not gonna break the bank. It's a inexpensive drugstore item. Um, you don't always need the top of the line products to perform well on skin. So this is another one of my favorites that I probably will be repurchasing. Next is a hand cream, and I've actually been using this one for years as well. I feel like my products really don't change. When I find things I love, I do not change. So this is just a Glycemed hand cream. It's fragrance free. It is a little bit of a thicker formula. You might feel a little bit of a residue left on your hands, but because it is thicker, I find that it soaks into my skin a lot better. And I'm doing this with my hands right now because my hands are the driest part of my body other than like little crevices, like my elbows, my knees, um, like my ankles, that kind of area. But before bed, I just put a little bit of this on in those areas. And I find that my skin is so silky soft in the morning. And you can buy these like bigger sized ones for a better price in a value pack at Costco. Again, drugstore item too though. You can get these at the drugstore and they also come in little travel sizes, which are really good for like when you're on long vacations and you don't wanna be bringing this big thing around. Moving on to makeup, I'm gonna start with the foundation. So this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I've been using this for years. Anytime I try a new foundation and I end up returning it, I always resort back to this one. So this one's in the shade Ivory Nude. It's a very, very pale color. I think I have about 
this much left in it. It's really hard to tell because the bottle is frosted glass. So you can't really see unless you like open it. Um, the only thing I wish that came with this is a pump because it'd be a little bit easier to get the product out on a brush or the back of your hand as opposed to pouring it. But um, yeah, literally my go-to full coverage foundation. This is the only shiz I use and uh, it is a more expensive product. This can be purchased at department store makeup counters and obviously Sephora. Um, so it's up there in price, but you don't need a lot, like I said, because it is full coverage. I think this bottle's lasted me since December and it's May now. That's like six months. I think I only repurchase this once a year. Like I'll go through maybe two bottles. So not terrible, really, really good product. I do recommend this one. The next product is a loose face powder. And again, one of my holy grails, every time I go through a bottle or I guess container of this, I just repurchase another one. They are expensive as well. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent loose setting powder and I believe it does come in a couple of shades but translucent is like the go-to that everyone gets because it doesn't matter the skin tone um and I'll just open it up there isn't a ton left in here either um when Sephora has their 20% off VIB sale I do stock up on products like this powder and this because these are each like $50 products. The next product is actually by Kat Von D and it's the Shade and Light Contour Palette. Now this was the one from years and years ago before they introduced the magnetized ones that you could easily depot and put new pans in because a lot of girls and guys I'm sure too were finding that you know they only used a couple shades and they didn't want to have to repurchase the whole new palette so it was a lot easier to be able to depot a color and put a new one in. If you don't know what depotting is I would suggest just looking it up on YouTube um, back in the day before companies came out with magnetized uh, like powdered eyeshadows and blushes and contour colors um, you'd have to like depot the product out of this and then figure out like double side tape put a new one in which now everything's pretty much magnetized so with this old package I actually finished I believe it was subconscious which is this color here so this is actually a brand new pan I just put in so I'm kind of cheating because I accidentally threw out the old one already but that dark one and then I also mix a somber with it as well so this one I've hit pan so I'm considering that as part of my empties video between these two colors here on the ends um, it's like the perfect contour shade. It works very, very well for my skin. Um, and it wasn't that difficult to depot. I managed to not break apart all of the palettes by doing so. So this is such a good contour palette and it doesn't make me look muddy or anything like this. It's my daily contour. Next, I have a mascara and this actually came in the Tarte Whitney Simmons collab makeup collection little kit. So it came with a mascara, it came with a lipstick, and it came with a little eyeshadow blush palette type thing. And this is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara and it's pretty much done, but the thing is, it kind of dried out. Like it didn't stay as a wet formula for long. Let me know in the comments below, is that something about this mascara, like is this just a drier formula or do you find that these do just dry out quicker? Um, because it did come with the collection, I'm just gonna kind of give it a pass by like, I didn't spend my own money on just this specific product. It came in like a little collaboration set, so whatever, but I probably won't be repurchasing this. It's nothing crazy amazing gotta spend your money on Sephora product. The next product is a Continuous Setting Mist by Morphe. Now I love this stuff. Um, however, I don't love having to repurchase it so often because I do use a fair amount of it every day and I find that I go through it too quickly. Now it's not crazy expensive, but it's expensive in the sense that when you're repurchasing so many at a time, it, you start to rack up how many you've purchased in a month and you're like, oh my God. So I did see this TikTok that you could combine, I think it's rose water and something else. You can buy a spray bottle off Amazon, combine the two products, and then there you go. You can just use that. So I think it's like $20 to make that whole thing, but then it's cheaper in the long run if you were to do the math on how much longer it lasts you because then you just refill those two liquids into that bottle and shake it up as opposed to having to repurchase this for like, I think it's like $18 or something, which isn't crazy, but it's crazy when you're repurchasing it so often. But I love this stuff. It is literally my holy grail. I have not switched back to any other setting mist since I found this a few years ago. The next product is actually a eye primer and I don't go through eye primers that quickly either just because you barely use any, like the tiniest, tiniest bit. You don't have big eyelids, at least I don't. So this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Shadow Insurance and it 
it works fine. It's nothing crazy special. I find that all eye primers pretty much do the same thing, unless it's kind of like a paint pot or like a thicker consistency, then there is some room for, I don't wanna say error, but room for creasing, um, which this is just a nude kind of base. Um, and it just evens out across your lid and it's a little bit tacky so it helps the color stick better to them. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase this again. I would just get a cheaper one. Like right now I'm using a Wet n Wild one. It's like a few bucks from the drugstore and it does the exact same thing. So I would skip out on this but I know it is a holy grail for many, many beauty influencers out there. The next product is a lipstick and I used to be like an avid collector of MAC lipsticks. Like I would be on their notification list for email for when they had new collections coming out back when I was in high school. And I would even go as far as sometimes on my spare be driving to the mall to go get something from a collection that I know would be sold out by the end of the day. Um, this isn't from a collection, but I just thought that'd be a funny story to share. This is one of my first MAC lipsticks I ever got. And it was a very popular cult favorite that many girls talked about on YouTube. So obviously, what do I do? I go buy it. So this is Max Hue lipstick and I don't really wear this by itself. I used to back in the day. It's since it's a glaze, it's a different finish. It's more of a frosty finish. So I use this more as a topper of my lipstick. Recently I've been using Max lipstick in Brave, which I believe is a luster. So it's a little bit of a thicker pigment. And that one's like a rosy pink mauve color. It's really, really pretty. Um, I don't put too much of it on because I like to top it off with this, which gives it a perfect, perfect sheen. As you can tell, it's literally done. Um, I'm gonna add this to my back to Mac pile. And I will be repurchasing this one again for sure. Quick side note, I'm not sure if you guys know, but Mac has a program called Back to Mac. I'm pretty sure it's still called that. And I believe it's if you have six empty items, you can redeem something from their store, either being a lipstick or I think a lip gloss. I don't remember the exact stipulations to it, but I always thought that was a really good deal because it kind of like encourages you to recycle with MAC, bring back the products you're done using and are emptied out for the most part. And then you get a lipstick out of it, which is pretty cool. So something to make note of for your MAC products if you have any. All right, last thing in the beauty category, I have this Prada Candy Roller Ball perfume and I have a little less than half left. So again, it's like, do I really consider this an empty? I'm just gonna say yes, because I know within the next couple weeks, this will be finito. It smells like a dream. It kind of reminds me of like a friend's house or like a neighbor's house that I visited when I was younger. It smells like a sweet candy vanilla. I'll try to find the notes of it and pop them up on the screen here. Um, but I love this. It's so easy to just throw in your purse and just put on your wrists and your neck when you're on the go. The only thing is I wish this container was plastic because I have dropped one of these on like a tiled floor and it's obviously shattered and there's like 30 bucks down the drain. But I absolutely love this scent. It's one of my all time favorites for sure. And lastly, getting into the category of home goods, random items, stuff like that. So I would say around Christmas time of this year, I got my boyfriend kind of obsessed with candles and he's been like burning them like crazy now that we've been quarantining together. So I think he got this one from a wedding and it says thank you on it. So obviously I don't really know the scent and it doesn't say on the bottom, I believe either. It smells like a mix of mahogany teakwood and flannel. If I can find the actual scent of this, I will throw it up on the screen and I'll write the notes as well. Oh, this smells so, so good. This is just such a comforting, nice, warm scent to be burning when you're like cooking at night or like watching a movie and like having some snacks or some tea. It's just a really like comforting, warm scent. I don't know how else to describe it. And if you're wondering, that is how much wax is left. And last but not least, this is gonna sound so funny, but I actually have a hand sanitizer to show you. Um, I don't go through these that quickly, but because of this pandemic, we've definitely been using a lot more hand sanitizer. So this one's just from Bath and Body Works. I'm pretty sure it's from like their summer collection. Um, and then it's their little pocket back ones. They've recently changed the packaging within the last year or two, I wanna say. And this is in the scent Pure Paradise. This to me smells like if you were to walk into a hotel room in like Hawaii, like this is what you would smell. I'll throw the notes up again on the screen here if I can find them, but it's just, it's one of those things where you know you put on and you're in a car and everyone's like, what's that delicious smell? It's like, my hand sanitizer. And that basically sums up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my first empties video. Let me know in the future if you'd like me to 
record another one of these because I'll definitely hoard some stuff and uh, accumulate another pile in order to do so. But I don't also try that many like skincare and makeup products. I kind of stick to the same things. So I don't want to keep re-showing the exact same products that I've been using in previous empties videos. Comment down below if there are any empties that you are constantly going through, whether that's makeup or beauty products or health products. I'd love to know. Thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.